Hello, it's Ron back here with another, uh, you know, adventure on uh, YouTube here from Ron Brown's YouTube channel. And I've been doing a ton of Mavic 3 content uh, lately here, and uh, most of it being like tutorials and testing of new uh, firmware and uh, features that came out for the Mavic 3 since the, um, you know, about the end of January where the big firmware rolled out and then they've had a couple app updates and so on. So we're still trying to work our way through all, all the uh, new firmware and we still have the slow uh, satellite, um, you know, coming in, a, a slow satellite acquisition for the uh, drones. That's an ongoing issue, but uh, a lot of the other stuff has been fixed and looking good now. So um, rather than, you know, another tutorial video today, um, you know, the reason we get these drones is not just to test them out, you know, I mean, maybe some of us reviewers do, but, uh, you know, most folks out there, they get a drone to actually go out and uh, and fly and record some video, uh, you know, for, uh, you know, just their own, you know, kind of memories or whatever, and some to, you know, post like travel-related uh, sites and so on, even travel-related videos on YouTube. So, um, it's been a, um, you know, a cold winter uh, down here at the Jersey Shore. January and February so far have been kind of colder than usual, and we've got some snow and more snow in January than we usually get. But we did have a nice day on uh, February uh, 12th, which is a Saturday. We had a day where it was like 65 degrees and sunny. Uh, which, you know, it was the only nice day of the year so far, I'll, I'll say. So we took the opportunity to take a little road trip that day down to a place called Sea Isle City, which is a couple of islands further south than I am on the Jersey Shore. And uh, at the end of um, Sea Isle City Island, there's a place called um, uh, Townsend's uh, Inlet um, Water Waterfront Park. And it's just a small, you know, park, parking lot that can hold, uh, you know, I don't know, 50 cars or less. And uh, they have like a little uh, kind of a, like a wood deck area there, some steps and so on. And then they have beach access there, beach and, and, and back bay access. So, but it does overlook the uh, bridge. I don't know if the bridge has a official name outside the Townsend Inlet Bridge. And that bridge takes you over to uh, Avalon. But anyhow... I, I got the Mavic, you know, three, you know, up in the air that day after five minutes of getting satellites. So sorry, I keep, keep uh, on this glow on the satellite thing here. So we just shot it in standard color profile. We did not use log that day. And uh, I did use a ND filter that day because it was uh, some kind of glaring light. My NDs are also polarized too. So that would help keep some of the reflection down that you would get from, you know, the water uh, to the sub uh, bright sun hitting the water. And almost, unfortunately, almost as soon as I pulled up there in the parking lot, kind of some clouds rolled in. So I didn't get the kind of light I was hoping for when I actually headed down that direction. But it, I mean, it still wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't overcast. It just, I, I got some kind of like you know some some parts are you know too bright exposure other parts were you know kind of cloudy so it was kind of a unusual lighting situation but uh so and i've been here at this location before and every time i go there i don't get the the really good light that i want to so uh, anyhow that's sort of my camera settings standard color profile uh, i did shoot it in uh cinema 4k which is a little bit larger um you know a, a format than the standard 4k and I took some B-roll on the ground with the uh, GoPro Hero 10. And um, I shot, I think I shot that in 5K. So, you know, I, I'll just, um, you know, render that out at the same uh, settings as the, uh, you know, the cinema uh, cinema uh, footage from the, the Hero 3 was. So it'll, it'll all be in the same format. So I, um, you know, I did try to um, kind of match the uh, GoPro and the... Um, Mavic 3 footage up, so I did use the color wheels to adjust things just a little bit in there, but again, you can only do so much when you don't shoot logs, so again, just a little adjustment to the color wheels, but uh, pretty much, you know, uh, again, it, it's pretty close to what I actually uh, filmed when I was there. Mason, the colors, I just tried to make it kind of look what I saw with the, you know, my eye there to get it back to, to, to that level. So, okay, again, my, my point was I want to see some of the, some of what I actually do with these drones rather than just testing, you know, going out and, uh, you know, getting some interesting footage at a, you know, at a at kind of a scenic location and maybe, you know, uh, somewhat tell a little uh, story. And, and the story basically is just, you know, where the location is, what the location looks like, uh, the parking lot, just kind of a, you know, a, a general overview of what you expect if you kind of drove up here in your car, you know, for a, you know, a, a nice day or a nice exploration, exploration around the uh, area there. So, you know, with no further ado, uh, you know, 
uh, we're going to roll this video and we're not coming back at the end for any overview. You know, it, it, we, we said what we had to say. So roll that video, folks. <laughs>